A good quality audio is the most important element of a good quality video. There cannot be a good quality video without a good quality audio. If you don't believe me, listen to the same dialogue now. A good quality audio is one of the most important thing in a good quality video. There cannot be a good quality video without a good quality audio. Now I believe you know what I am saying. And if you want to improve the quality of the audio, then Audacity is one of the most important software and most useful software. Apart from that, it is also free and open source software. This means you can use it for free. This means irrespective of the operating system you are using, you can use Audacity to improve the quality of the audio. And the steps will be same as I am going to talk about it in this video. Audacity has a lot of functions, lot of features, but teachers don't need it. In this video, I am going to cover all the features which are required for a teacher to improve and record a good quality audio for their educational purpose. So why wait? Let's start. So the first thing you have to do is install Audacity on your laptop. For that, you can visit this website audacityteam.org. Then you go to downloads and here you can see that Audacity is available for Windows, Mac as well as Linux. You can download newer version or you can download the older version also. Once you download it, you can install it, but I don't prefer this method. What I do, I go to 99.com and from there I select Audacity in this media option. I select Audacity and then I click on get your 99. It downloads a file on my laptop. Then I click on this file. So it actually download the latest version of Audacity based on my OS and then install it on my system. So I do not need to select which version is good for my system and then I do not need to worry about getting any extra malware into the system. Now you can see it's installing Audacity and now it's finished. So I'll close it. Now you can see that Audacity is installed on my laptop. I'll open Audacity. So when you open Audacity for the first time, you see this. I'll prefer to not show this option again. I'll click on this and I'll select OK. So here is the Audacity in front of you. So it has lots of options, but we do not need all of these options. So I'll talk about only those options which are required for a teacher in order to create good quality podcast or improve the quality of audio for the videos. So here is this toolbar which is very important for teachers. By clicking on this button, you will be able to record your audio. Just click on this button and it will start recording your sound. When I clicked on this button, you can see a new audio track appears. And when I am speaking, you can see these waves. So this wave is actually my sound and it is recording. Here you can see the left and right channels. So the sound is being recorded from two channels. You need to see it when you are recording because whenever this green is touching this area, it will become red. I'll show you. So now you can see this is sometimes touching the red area. So you try to speak in such a manner so that it doesn't touch that red area. The red area means the loss of data. The quality will be very poor. So as you can see, when I speak louder, see this area, the sound is not recorded properly. You need to take care of these things. Once I have done recording, I will stop it. And then I will go in the beginning. And here you can see this symbol. This is actually select symbol. So I can click on the beginning and then click on play. Start recording your sound. When I clicked on this button, you can see a new audio track. So by clicking on play, you will be able to hear 
when i am speaking what you have recorded see these waves once you are done this wave is actually my sound so this is how you record your audio good. with the help of audacity Here you can see i'll now stop it so this is how you record your audio with audacity once you are satisfied with the audio you can export that audio by clicking on file and export export as what see mp3 wav ogg there are various options you have so you know mp3 and wav these two are very popular formats for audio wav is a high quality sound and mp3 actually reduces the quality of sound a lot so i prefer to export in wav format i'll click on wav and then i will give it a name and save it it will ask artist name means metadata about your audio if you want to give it some metadata then give it otherwise you can leave it i will leave it for now and click on okay so it as you can see it will export wav file correct let's now try to export the same audio in mp3 as well i'll click on export as mp3 in mp3 you will see the type is mp3 but there are some other options like preset variable average constant so it's better to use preset and joint stereo so it will create one file and that will give a feeling of stereo sound and i'll click save and the same option it will ask for mp3 file also i'll click on okay and it will export in mp3 format as well so you can see these two files this is mp3 file and this is wav file you can check the file size also the wav file its file size is 12.1 mb while the mp3 file size is 1.20 mb now let's learn how to improve audio quality and what is the meaning of improving audio quality of your audio i will start a new recording for that i'll click on this record button as you can see it has started recording and even when i am not speaking you can see that some noise is being recorded see here i did not speak at all but still some noise was recorded i'll play that for you see you are able to hear it and you can also check it here see here you can check it see this if there is no noise then it should not move at all but you can see it's going up to 36 that means there is a lot of noise so this is one problem with this audio as it has a lot of noise the second problem is that you might not be able to hear it properly as this is not matching the limit of the sound so whenever you listen to any music any audio then they actually follow some standard right now the audio is very low so you might need to focus a lot or you might not hear it well with your devices or with your headphone so when we say that we need to improve the sound quality for educational videos or educational podcast this means we need to follow exactly these steps which i am going to show it to you so what i'll do i will select complete audio in order to select complete audio you can press control a or you can simply double click on the track then you will go to effects go to compressor the default settings are perfect do not change it and click on okay once you do this what will happen it will now change to the standards so these are the standards so sound should be somewhere here it was like this before see it was very low now it is like this okay so first thing you have to do is apply compressor now when you apply compressor what happens the noise also increase if i play this now see where it is going now correct so the noise has also increased once you apply compressor you need to reduce this noise for that what you need to do select the noise make sure it's noise only this is why i always record some extra portion in the audio so like here i 
I needed this audio till here only, but I have recorded this extra portion because I want to take the sample of the noise in the room. So this is the sample of the noise. After selecting it, I will go to effect, click on noise reduction and then click on get noise profile. Okay. Once you do that, then you have to select complete audio by clicking on Ctrl A or by double clicking on this track. Go to effect again, click on noise reduction and make sure this noise reduction settings are this. So by default on Audacity it's either 3 or 4 or 5, make sure the decibel is around 20 decibel. Sensitivity is 3.50, frequency smoothing is 2 bands and noise will be reduced. Okay, make sure it is reduced. Then I'll click on OK. So it will now reduce the noise. And how will it identify noise? The way you have selected the noise and told Audacity that this is the pattern of noise in this audio. Now you can see the noise is gone. You can play this audio and see now the noise is reduced to this. Previously it was going up to here. So after doing this, the other thing that we have to do is cut the portion of this audio. See this is extra portion, so select it and click on this cut. Or you can also click on Ctrl X. So I will simply select this option. Similarly, we may need to select this starting also and we will cut this also. But I will give you one tip. There are two reasons for which you need to improve the quality of the audio. The one is either you are creating a podcast. So means you are publishing only audio. And the second reason for you that you want to improve this audio quality because you are later going to include it into a video. If you are going to include it into a video, then I will not say that you cut any of the portion. I will not even cut this last portion if I am going to synchronize it with the video. In that case, what will you do in that case? In the video editor, you can mute this audio or what you can do, you can mute it here in the audacity also. For this, you need to go to effect, oh sorry, generate and click on silence. By select, after selecting this area, click on silence and that audio will be converted into silence. Okay. So this is how it works. Once you are satisfied with the audio, then you can export it by clicking on file, export and export as well. So this is final noise free audio. So this is how exactly you improve the quality of the audio. There is one more requirement that if you have recorded a video or if you already have a video and you want to improve the quality of the audio in that video, then you need to bring the audio here. This is Audacity. It does not support video. It supports only audio. So what you do in that case, you will import the video directly by clicking on this import. So you can see right now, there is no option for video import, correct? But there is an option for audio import, you select it. Then you select the video and click on open. When you try to do that, it is telling you that FFmpeg is not available on your laptop. So you need to install FFmpeg if you want to directly import a video file in Audacity to improve its audio quality. For that, we need FFmpeg for Audacity. You can find it here on this page manual.audacityteam.org man installing FFmpeg for windows.html. I am including this link in my video description also. So you go here, you will see this option recommended installer. Go to FFmpeg download page. See, this is FFmpeg binary for Windows compatible with Audacity 2.0.6 and later. Or if you are using Mac, then file options are given here. So there are two files. One is lame and another one is FFmpeg. You need lame 
if you are not able to export mp3 files and you need ffmpeg if you are unable to import video files in audacity so i will select ffmpeg and i'll click on this exe file so i'll click on this exe it will download exe after this i will install it once it is installed i will go back to audacity and i will import it so how to import it by going to edit preference and libraries i will say okay i will go to edit preferences it will open this i'll go to libraries in the libraries you can see this ffmpg library so i will click on locate so in my case it has automatically detected valid ffmpg library but if you have not found it you can do it manually so i'll also show you how to do it manually i'll click on s and you need to search this file av format hyphen 55.dlm it will be available on the folder where you have installed ffmpg library okay so make sure you select it and then click on okay once you are done then you click on okay and now try to import video so by clicking on import audio select a video from which you want to extract and import audio click open and now you can see that audio is being extracted from the mp4 file and once it is done you can see it here and now what i'll do i'll improve its quality you know how to improve the quality select everything go to effect apply compressor once compressor is applied select the noise you can use this zoom tool to zoom to the area then as i can see there is some noise i will select that noise i will be very careful to selecting noise only see you can see that there is something else in addition to noise so i will not select this area take a very small sample then click on effect noise reduction click on get noise profile once i have noise profile i will select complete audio then go to effect click on noise reduction and make sure this is 20 3.52 and i'll click on okay it will now reduce the noise from the entire audio once the noise is reduced i am now ready to export this audio for this i'll go to file export export as wav and then i will save it as you can see we just exported this audio file by improving its quality and this audio is for this video so now we want to put this audio into this video and we have to synchronize it for that you have to use some video editor i use camtasia studio or open shot so you can use any linear video editor that allow multi layer editing i'll show that in some other video so this is how you improve or record a quality audio for educational purpose i told you everything about audacity which is required for a teacher i told you how to install how to record audio how to improve audio's quality how to configure audacity so that you can import audio directly from the video how to import video and how to improve its quality in the next video i am going to cover how to synchronize this improved audio with the original video now you use audacity and let me know if you face any problem i will be really happy to help you thank you very much or as nowadays we all are saying namaste